People living and holidaying in parts of eastern Victoria are being told to evacuate or that it's too late to leave as four bushfires burn out of control. Fire authorities are also on high alert in New South Wales amid hot, dry and windy conditions. Julia Bradley has the latest for us. Julia, good afternoon. What is happening on the fire front? Well, Janie, it's certainly a developing situation over the border in Victoria, and that is because of three bushfires burning at an emergency level at the moment in eastern parts of the state. So the warnings are as follows. Firstly, for a fire that's burning north of Mafra in the Gippsland region, people in Briagalong, Culloden, Mornapa, Stockdale and the surrounds have been told to evacuate immediately. Fire travelling in a south easterly direction. The best evacuation route is south towards Sale using Briagalong Road. Now about 70 kilometres southeast of this place, residents have been told to immediately shelter indoors because of an emergency level grass fire. That fire about 4.2 kilometres southwest of Locksport and moving in an easterly direction. Thirdly, a grass fire at nearby Gorge Forge Creek is also burning out of control. People there told it's too late to leave and to shelter indoors. There's also a Watch and Act level warning for a bushfire also in Victoria. That's near Rawson, Wallala and Erica. Now, in New South Wales, fire authorities also on alert for dangerous bushfire conditions, as you were mentioning there, Janie, and that's because of unseasonably high spring temperatures, but also these really gusty winds, north and northwesterly winds, possibly getting up to 90 kilometres per hour. And this hot weather here, a top of 36 degrees, will make for the hottest NRL grand final day on record. Now, in New South Wales, there is one bushfire burning at a watch and Act level. That's at Delgetti in Monaro. There are firefighters there and water bombing aircraft all trying to bring that blaze under control. There's an extreme weather warning in place for damaging winds in parts of the south coast of New South Wales, the Snowy Mountains, Southern Tablelands, Southwest Slopes and the ACT. An extreme fire danger rating is in place for five districts, Greater Sydney, Greater Hunter, Far South Coast, North West and the Upper Central West Plains. We've just heard from the Bureau of Meteorology on those warnings that are in place. A number of fire weather warnings throughout uh, throughout New South Wales, and it's that combination of hot, dry, windy, which all adds up to raise the risk of fires. There are a number of total fire bans across the state as well. So absolutely anyone who's out and about, and it's a lot of people at the moment, of course, long weekends, school holidays, lots of campers, lots of people getting out and away from the cities and into the bush, got to take complete care with all things to do with fire. So where to from here? Temperatures will be dipping in Sydney tomorrow with a top of 25 degrees before shooting up once again on Tuesday. We're expecting cooler temperatures come Wednesday when a cold front is expected to sweep through. But at the moment, a difficult day for our firefighters here in New South Wales and also over in Victoria. And we'll continue to bring you all the updates throughout the afternoon. Janie? All right. Thank you very much, Julia Bradley. We will be live to Victoria shortly.